Today we're at a factory in northern Victoria that uses locally grown softwoods to produce cross-laminated timber. Let's go and see how it's made. Cross-laminated timber, or CLT, is quickly growing in popularity around the world. While the product was first developed in Europe, recent years have seen Australia and North America quickly adopt the high-performing and environmentally friendly structural material. I asked Tyson Infanti from a local CLT supplier to explain the product further. Uh, so cross-laminated timber is, is part of the um, mass timber family. So it's a, it's a panelised system made up of multiple layers of, of boards. Um, so you can see the, the multiple layers here. Uh, this is a three-layer panel um, and each subsequent layer, the boards run 90 degrees to, 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 to each other. So with an odd number of boards, we can make up um, a range of three, five, seven and nine layer panels. Uh, and with that, we can make 60 mil panels all the way up to uh, 350 mil panels. Um, in terms of the actual format or the size of the panels, we can make uh, 16 meters by three and a half meter panels, and uh, and then they're they're cut up into the sort of the final panels that would, would go to site. So now we know what we're talking about. Let's take a closer look at how it's made. Like all engineered wood products, cross laminated timber is manufactured in a safe, highly coordinated factory environment. Here, a workforce of dedicated and skilled staff monitor production and test product to ensure the highest quality output possible. The manufacturing process starts with rough sawn wood sections. These are most commonly untreated structural softwood, but treated softwood and even hardwoods are now possible. Different thicknesses of CLT panels may require different layups, comprising boards of varying thicknesses. For this reason, CLT producers must plan ahead to ensure they have the right feedstock for a project. Once the specified boards have been sourced, they are loaded onto the production line, where they are first scanned for moisture content before proceeding to the next station. Here, the boards go through a finger jointing process to create a single long board out of any feedstock length. This means that even if the factory only has two metre long feedstock, it can still produce a panel of 16 metres in length. The finger joint owes its name to its form, which looks similar to two hands with fingers entwined. To create this join, both ends of each board must first be cut into the zigzag profile, which fits snugly into the profile of the corresponding board. One of these profiles then receives a thin layer of high strength glue, and the two zigzag profiles are pressed together under force to create an immediate bond. The newly finger jointed board can be cut to the exact length required and is left to rest in a large storage rack to allow the glue bond to cure. My name is Colin Stone and I'm um, the quality and safety manager for XLAM Australia and this site specifically. Our testing is um, from the in-feed feedstock, we finger joint the feedstock into lamella. Um, we're constantly monitoring the pressure, the glue application. We take um, finger joint samples um, every shift and test those against the standards. Through the whole process we're doing quality checks to ensure that the end product is within specification. Once cured, the long boards are mechanically planed on all four sides to the exact section size required for the panel layup. While this planning process can occur at an earlier stage, completing this process just before the CLT panel is assembled ensures a clean, fresh surface for the adhesive to bond to, making for a reliable product. Cross-laminated timber is produced as a rectangular panel, and as it features boards running in two directions, it is necessary to produce both long and short sections. For this reason, once planed, some boards are transferred to another cutting station, which cuts shorter lengths. These boards are then transported by conveyor to the panel layup area. With all boards now planed and cut to size, the panel layup process can commence. This process can vary, however all manufacturers follow the same basic steps. The first layer of boards is laid on the platform and tightly packed together to minimise any gaps. When ready, a layer of adhesive is applied and the next layer of boards is stacked on top of the first, this time in the perpendicular direction. 
This gluing and stacking process continues until the total number of layers is assembled, at which time the panel is transferred to a press. Here we can see a mechanical press being used. However, other types of press may be used depending on the supplier. Depending on the panel thickness, press type and adhesive used, this pressing process can vary in duration. A typical panel and mechanical press shown here takes 25 to 30 minutes to complete the pressing and curing process. After this time, the pressure is reduced and the panel is transferred to a holding bay for processing. With the master panel now pressed, it can proceed to the CNC machine. The CNC uses the digital design to cut out openings and smaller panels, pre-drill holes and complete any other fabrication. These robots feature a head that can rotate in up to 11 axes and can select from a range of cutting, drilling or chasing tools to process an element as per the design. CNC machines take the human error out of the cutting process, resulting in very tight tolerances and a perfect fit on site. The CNC cuts multiple samples from every panel, which then undergo rigorous testing. Every single bullet is checked for glue line durability, dimensional tolerance, moisture, and nothing leaves the site until all the checks and balances are done. Once processed by the CNC, panels are stacked in order, ready for delivery to the job site at the agreed time. Panels leave the factory with lifting straps pre-installed, streamlining the on-site installation process. Here we can see a prefabricated stair, produced from a thick eight-layer CLT panel with treads and risers then cut out by the CNC machine. As with all timber construction, these panels will be installed using only screws and brackets, making for a safe, quiet site. Where required for the project, a CLT supplier can typically offer to add value to the panel prior to delivery. At this factory, panels can be sanded, pre-coated with a liquid moisture barrier and lined with a breathable, water-resistant membrane. The final step before delivery, panels are packed and covered in a UV and water-resistant sheet to ensure they arrive on site in the same condition they left the factory. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click like below and don't forget to subscribe to be the first to hear when we release our next episode. Check out our other videos to learn more about wood, wood products and how to design and build with wood correctly or head on over to our website at www.woodsolutions.com.au. See you next time.